In this video, I'll show you how to get some great looking fun text from a free website called cooltext.com. Now it's important to understand this is not for you to create offsets or shadow fonts with Design Space. You have to use either a font in Design Space that has that offset built in, or you can use a program like Inkscape to create an offset or a shadow font. And I do have another video on my channel that shows you how to do that. And I'll put a link of that video on the screen as well. So cooltext.com allows you to create many different words, phrases, and things of that nature using some great free, fun-looking fonts and text that they've created with some special effects. Now, since we're looking at cutting these out using Design Space in our Cricut Explorer, we can't use any of the ones that have animation, of course. Those are meant for use online, such as websites. But some of the other ones we can, even the ones that have shadow effects and outlines around them, because we can remove that. So now I will pick a simple, fun font, and I'll put a name in there. And of course, if you can, make it as big as you want. So if you go up to about 100, it'll be a little bit larger and a little bit easier to work with. And you don't really need to worry too much about colors in most cases because you're going to cut them using the Cricut. And with the outline, we can turn that all the way down until it's gone so that we have a little bit cleaner image to work with. And of course, we do not want a shadow. And we want to save it as a PNG file with transparency. And when we click Create Logo, we will get our image. Then we can download that image. And now we can upload that into Design Space. Now here you have the choice of unchecking the box that says Preserve Image. And it will save it as a cut file. However, I have problems with this a lot of times with PNG files where the Cricut likes to uh, really make jagged edges around the sides if it's a rough edge PNG or JPEG file. So I usually leave that checked and save it. And then once it's in Design Space, I change it from a print to a cut file. And I tend to get a lot better results with the cut edges when I do that. So next we'll choose a little bit more complicated font as far as how it's displayed on the screen. And I'll show you how to clean it up. And we'll look at this glowing font. We'll type in a name. And as you can see, it has a glowing shadow around it. And we do not, of course, want that because we are going to cut that again. So I'm going to say no for the glow size. Turn it all the way down to zero. We'll make it again a size of 100, so it's a little bit larger. And, of course, no shadow. And we can create our logo and download it. Again, we'll upload that into Design Space just as we did before. And we'll say it's a simple image. And again, once we import that and change it to a cut file. And we're all finished and we're ready to size it and cut it appropriately. And I'll show you one more and show you how we can manipulate this just a little bit to make it a little bit easier to work with in Design Space. Again, we're going to change this up to 100 so it's a little bit larger. We'll put in another name. And as you can see, a lot of the little curls and the insides of the A's and so forth are really jammed together because of that border. So we'll go down here and turn off the outline. And you can see that it comes out a lot cleaner. If we want, we can change this all to one color so it doesn't have the gradient colors. And just so you're aware, when you're working with these hexadecimal numbers, six zeros is black. So I'll drag that all the way to the bottom corner, or I could just type in the numbers as well. And of course, no shadow, no outline. And we click Create Logo, and there is our text, and we'll download that. And again, we'll insert that and upload it to Design Space. And once again, we'll change that to Cut, and we're all set. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.